Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I am Hatch, and today we're slowly, lightly attacking. Tell me why. Um, because we're taking a break. Happy New Year's, everyone. Audio's 2020, you piece of... Ch it, it's 2021, it's a new year, so... We're, we're just gonna chill a little bit. Um, this is the newest game from Don't Nod Entertainment. They made the... Um, awesome Life is Strange games. Uh, part 1 and Part 2 were awesome. I love those games, so... Interested to see where this one goes. Should be very cinematic. Uh, this is being played on the PlayStation. Nope, just shitting you. I promise not to nod, don't nod. Don't force me. Delos Crossing, Alaska? Back in 2005. I remember 2005. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> oh no, what did you do? What landed you here, man? Did you eat all the cookies I gave you? No, there's one left. Who leaves just one cookie on the plate? Hey, kiddo. You deserve to be in jail. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? All right, I'm listening. Don't say kiddo, I have a name. What is it, Officer Can you doing? tell me what happened tonight? So there I was. I... I went to show her my haircut. Who? Oh, it's a bad haircut, bro. She had a gun. She... She was not happy with my Take haircut. Take time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. Apparently. My mom tried to kill me, so... Well, this got dark fast. So I stabbed her. Yikes. Okay. Thought we were I playing something fun. I killed my mother. All right, um, thought we were starting off with something light and fun. <laughs> That's not what's happening here at all. Um, all right, welcome to 2021. <laughs> Where people stab their mothers because of bad haircuts. Uh, I mean, I've been there. Everyone's had a bad haircut before, right? The Fireweed Residential Center, November 2015. November in Alaska has got to be pretty rough, right? Like, it's already super cold. Who leaves Kleenex on the windowsill? Put that shit away. We'll miss you... Who? Tyler? Maybe? Oh, is that his haircut? That's not too bad. It's very 2005. Oh, it's a lady. That bass line. Get down with that. Oh, take that Red Bull. <laughs> Dude's cheesing pretty heavy, isn't he? Oh, careful, careful, careful. Perfect. Clean up, you slob. High five. Oh no. She's talking to herself. <laughs> Let's kill that music just a little bit. That sounds like My Morning Jacket a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, nobody wore skinny jeans in 2005. That, that's a little too early. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, they were, they were brand new then. That, that didn't really come around until like 07 or 08. It does kind of sound like my morning jacket. I'm gonna have to look it up later. Gift, itinerary, drinks and snacks, keys, something else. No, the high notes are different. That's that's not Jim James. Please give me f water and sunlight on the plant. That's pretty cool. Think hard about it, Aaron. Well, he was writing a letter to Aaron, so I guess he's not Aaron. <laughs> You got everything but the house keys. Are you ready? Don't forget your telescope and your teddy bear. Oh, this is okay, us. First, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Okay, let's then, find the keys. I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. And whatever you do, everything's fine. Don't freak out. Oh, what's up here? Not here. Not here. Just an alien head. Is this it down here? Nope, that's a book called Night Watch. 
Alaska. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. The Geminids? I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. What is a Geminid? Is hey, it... you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. If anybody knows what the Geminids are, let me know. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. Yeah, it does look like a dumb movie. <laughs> are they under the bed? Oh, right. I stashed them down here. Yeah, I'm good at finding stuff. What kind of shoebox is that? Is that Skechers? Oh, what is that? Is that a Baby Yoda? Kind of <laughs> looks like it. So that's where you've been hiding. It's a goblin. Oh, and a picture of someone special? This feels like another lifetime. It might be. We don't know where this game's taking us. Ah, oh, here they are. 1998 Chrysler. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. Cool. Anything else I need to look at here? What's in here? What you keep in your closet? I can fix this. Oh, it's a manual. We got some super glue, got some boots, straight and Phillips screwdrivers. Oh, my girl, she's ready. Don't know what that is. Can I open the window? Yeah, let's look through that. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. Oh, don't say that. Everyone knows how to play hockey. No one knows how to play hockey. I could look at this artwork all day. Uh, of, of Mars? I mean, okay. That seems like a little weird, but whatever. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Especially since the window's closed. Later. I guess his name's Tyler. Yep. He looks like a Tyler. Should we read this? No, we're good. <laughs> I'm sure they'll tell us what we need to know. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. I can't okay. believe you got an authentic, I'm done here. authentic 2005 boombox. I just need my goblin. Shit, I gotta do. <laughs> Tutoring. Help Perez. Call Doctor Beck. Finish paperwork. Something for Allison. Fireweed youth. Man, he's going places. And I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Okay. The voice acting is a little strange for man, him. I'm gonna miss that view. Yeah, that that is pretty cool, man. Not sure I'd have that window open in uh, Alaska, but what do I know about your life, man? Songs of Innocence. I know most of these by heart at this point. The Transgender Man's Guide to Healthy Masculinity and Shelter from the Flood. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. God, what a slog. Hey, little guy. There's the goblin. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Come here, buddy. Check it out, I like his jacket, that's cool. Cha-ching. Uh, cool. Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. <laughs> For real. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Denali. Best kind of Yukon. Take me. This box of junk treasures now yours by the first law finders keepers. Okay. Open it up. You're not gonna open it up? We'll find that. This is 2015. Wait, didn't the thing say 2005 earlier? Maybe that was when he was a kid? Alright, I guess we're. Alright, the skinny jeans make more sense now then. <laughs> it's 2015, not 2005. In that case, why do you have the 2005, uh, Boombox over there. Uh, you know I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor in that rest redeemable youth you could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. Try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. So this guy is Aaron. Unless he wrote that to someone else. I'm going <laughs> to just tell me who these characters are. Basketball hoop. Hey, dude, take the trash out. Look at that. So rude. There, dude. Onward. Please give me water and sunlight. Bye, room. I'll miss you. Oh, no. He left the window open. That plant's going to die. We have tomorrows for a reason. 
Just us driving along, singing the song. Got a teddy bear riding shotgun. Just a walking along, glaring in the sun. Bye bye, teddy bear. <laughs> She's driving a Fjord. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A Fjord Bronco. Hey, you. Hey, you. Are they brother and sister? Are they this is a relationship. Hi, Tyler. What's going on here? All right, his name's Tyler. Hi. It's official. <laughs> First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry. I... Hi, hi. It's hi. fine, hi. Allison. You know my head; it gets fuzzy. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Oh, you too, Allison. I like your beanie. Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. I'm good. My last 10 years in a bag. Got a goblin. That's all then I needed. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. Made room for you by getting rid of the teddy bear. You look good in that. Oh, thanks. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. That's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep. We're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? My plant in the view. The food or the people. Um, I don't know anything about Alaskan food, so I'm gonna say the people. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. Because it was. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. Me too. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? Hey. You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Go easy on my fjord Need bronco. one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Hop in. Be hilarious if it didn't start now. So what is the Fireweed Residential Center? Is that like a uh, orphanage or something? The youth home, maybe? Oh, gee, oh, here we go. Every time we get an achievement, then the Xbox breaks. <laughs> Later, Fireweed. Does Alaska have the Fireweed? I don't even know. Look at this dude. Where are you walking to, homie? No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, come on. Oh, you're self credit. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No, a bear on no the ferry? No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. There it was, fairy and bear. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal <laughs> mountain of empty chip bags. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> you go where the food is. Bat bears are cool. Oh, I can relate to that. Can I get so a sip of that? Happened. I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor bear. Uh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. Mm. The bear is fine, Tyler. He'll be fine. Calm For down. Now. That is not the radio <laughs> from a Fjord about Bronco. Up regulations on trophy hunting again? Are we on a fair? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. Cheap sunglasses. What huh? kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Message. Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger <laughs> Tyler. Not yet. But got him. At least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. Well, I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card. Oh no, number. University You'll of Phoenix! Out what you want? You have time. What you looking at? Seagulls. How are you feeling? I've been better. Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout, and my fog lights are dead. That's a weird reference. <laughs> With your scruffy beard, scraggly beard. Oh, this is pretty. I would like to go to Alaska. What about you? Probably freeze my ass off. Allison? I know you hear me. Well, zoned out there for a second. 
Sorry. Welcome back. So, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here. Here I am. Standing beside me. On our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. Yeah. I see. Idiot. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. Ooh. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? My girl's a fast driver. No. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. <laughs> Gotta get back on that horse, man. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. East Jesus Nowhere? Uh, is it really that bad? Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Oh, there you right. go. It was a youth At home. least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Juno, he's I been bet better. I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. His clan? I'm gonna need you to specify that Is real that quick. Smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Smoke on the... Alright, let's go take a look. That one over there? No, the one no. just beyond it. You no. know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Right. Asshole oh, elders. A whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point. Hey, got there right. to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Does it? Uh, it was. I mean, maybe the drinking part. I guess you would uh, just hang out and drink at campfires a lot in Alaska, right? So... We're really going back there, huh? To yep. Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Check out that yeah. mountain back there. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. That tracks. At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. You know it just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Move hey, to the big city. Can I ask you a question? Sure, why not? I'm stuck on a ferry. Uh, sure. Shoot. I was told. Um, huh? I mean, after I'm, you, well, you know, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, mm -hmm. you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? I had nowhere Pretty else much. to go. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but hey, no it regrets, was better man. to be around in case the residents needed me. Aww. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Very pretty. Why would you want to leave here and go to Juno? Seriously, you gotta trim up that Allison. beard, man. Yeah? Spit it out. <laughs> okay, you need to promise not to freak out. Alright, I promise. What is it? We're wearing the same jeans. It's a gift. Oh, thanks. From Eddie. It's a pinky ring. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm oh, sorry. Eddie. When you said Eddie, that asshole. I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Uh, at least you're not holding grudges. And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Let it go, Tyler. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. Oh, you drama queen. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture. Clinket? And what it means to refuse one. Uh, yeah. We're gonna take it. That's yeah, fine. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Why not? Really. 
Looks pretty cool. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. No, it's for I you, know. Tyler. You could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. Uncle Eddie? <laughs> Hard pass. Hard pass. My favorite 80s action movie. This summer, Van Damme takes a hard pass. I don't know. Did you hear that? Sound like a whale. Is it a whale? I hope it's a whale. A big blue whale. Whoa. Oh, yay! Nailed it. There's no place like home. Yeah, let's go yeah. check out this whale. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. You get signal right. out here? Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so I did it again. Oh, no. I'm such a nervous Nelly. So, uh, very interesting game. Uh, I think we're, well, yeah, we're going to keep playing it. I got to see okay. what happens. Yep, we didn't die in a fiery crash. Yay! That's How good to know. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. Is he talking to Eddie? Hey. Hey, Uncle he Eddie. So yeah, it's him. First steps have been taken. Uncle Eddie. I don't like you yet. <laughs> yeah, the drive took longer than I thought it would. Anyway. Well, All right. So uh, next episode, I guess we finally talk to Uncle Eddie. Later.